Brexit row turned powder keg as MP warned stormant situations can gone wrong with a snap of finger. A furious row has erupted, with one MP describing the people of Northern Ireland as pawns in a game of political blackmail. Simon Haw, MP for North Dorset, made the comments in response to DUP leader Sir Geoffrey Donaldson again threatening to collapse Stormont if progress is not made on the Northern Ireland Protocol. The Northern Ireland Protocol prevented a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland following Brexit but introduced new trade barriers in the Irish Sea between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. The UK has given some concessions on its operation, such as easing the flow of medicines from Britain to Northern Ireland, but this has not satisfied the DUP, who said it is not enough to protect against disruption to trade with Britain and Northern Ireland's place within the UK. Sir Geoffrey has repeatedly stated that he will collapse Stormont if the so-called Irish Sea border is not removed. Last week, Maros Kovic, the EU's chief negotiator argued London has breached a great deal of trust with the bloc over Northern Ireland. Sir Geoffrey responded to this by stating that Foreign Secretary Liz Truss, who is in charge of Brexit negotiations following Lord Frost's resignation in December, must provide a clear date for ending negotiations. The Largan Valley MP did not specify a deadline but stated that January is going to be a crucial month, suggesting that the DUP could seek to collapse Stormont by February if the deal is not met. He said that, we need a clear date now, we need a clear timeline in which there is an expectation of real progress or the government takes the action that is necessary. It is crucial that Liz Truss moves this process forward quickly and that we get real and meaningful progress on a range of issues not least of which is removing the checks on the movement of goods within the United Kingdom internal market. If we don't get rapid and decisive progress in these negotiations and one side or the other is kicking the can down the road, this will have major implications for the stability of the political institutions in Northern Ireland. In response to Sir Geoffrey's threats, Mr. Hoare, who is the chair of the Northern Ireland Select Committee tweeted, with Covid etc. collapsing Stormont would be a dereliction of public duty and service. The communities of Nee need all of their politicians with their shoulders to the wheel. The people of Nee deserve better than being pawns in a game of political blackmail. Ulster Unionist Party leader, Doug Beattie also criticised the threats, stating, negative unionism versus positive unionism. Collapsing Stormont will not deal with the protocol, engagement, innovation and pragmatic solutions will. We have a unique opportunity to strengthen our ties within the Union. Handing the keys to Westminster and Dublin won't do that. Sir Geoffrey first threatened to collapse Stormont by the end of October 2021 but moved this deadline after it appeared progress in negotiations was being made with then Brexit Minister, Lord Frost. The protocol has prevented a hard border on the island of Ireland after Brexit, but introduced new trade barriers in the Irish Sea between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. While the EU has given concessions on its operation, notably to ease the flow of medicines from Britain into the UK, these have not satisfied many who oppose it. Mr Given said the arrangement is not sustainable because it does not have the support of the unionist community. He said, I've always been committed to devolution, because I think we are better at identifying the issues and the needs of our communities. I can do that with all the political representatives from the other parties, work collectively in the executive to do that, and on a huge number of issues, we get common ground. Then we can step out together with a united purpose, trying to address those issues together. I think Stormont is the best place to do that. I think London is too remote and therefore we are better making our politics work.